What are you going to tell us about it today? Electroreception. Electroreception. What is electroreception? It helps the planet us um, when it's not using its eyes, ears, or nose. Mm-hmm. How does it work? With electroreception. What does it help them do? To help them what? To help them look up for food without seeing it. Because they live in what? Water. Is okay. And is it light or dark? Light water. A light water? Mm -hmm. Is it dark down there so you can't use your eyes? Uh huh. Okay. The so planet plus when they close their eyes, it means they're afraid some water or what? Go in if they open their eyes. Uh huh. But then they can use electroreception to find their food? Mm hmm. Okay. Do you know what a platypus eat? No. Grayfish! Oh, do they eat grayfish? Mm hmm. Are they delicious? If you're a platypus. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> of course. Uh, okay. Um, Tell us again, um, what is the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Um, the reason why the alligators and crocodiles are different is because they're different species. Alright, so alligators have um, cold blood or warm blood? Cold blood. Okay, and how does you warm up their blood? By laying down in the hot sun. Alright. Um, the alligator. Can you tell us about mosquitoes? Yeah, tell us about mosquitoes. Why do they need our blood? To lay eggs. Ah, so they need our blood to lay eggs. Hmm, but why do they need our blood again? What does it do to them? They want. They feed their babies. Mm hmm. How does you get our blood? By the blood and get. Skinny nose and try it on. Ooh, and then? And then after it bites you, well, it becomes so itchy. Right, like right now, it becomes so itchy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, don't itch it. Because the more you itch it, the worse it gets. Okay, how about, uh, what is that fish that can... It's called the blowfish. Can you tell us anything about the blowfish? Um, when the creature was eating, and it's eating it, it just pokes up into a giant pokey ball. Oh, and what does the creature have to do at this point in time? They have to spit her off, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's it's gonna hurt their mouth, right? Mm -hmm. But what happened if it didn't spit it off? It spit it out. It would poke it, the grouper's throat. Until they die, right? Mm -hmm. They both die. How does the blowfish do that? Well, even when the grouper's if spits it out, how it still all blows up. Yeah, because she doesn't know if he's going to attack her again or something. Right? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, can you tell us something about um, Do you humming, know a fi fish that flies? A fish that flies? There is a flying fish? Hmm? There is a flying fish? There's a kind of fish that flies. How does it do that? Do you know what it, it's called? No. Flying fish! Of course. Yay! Flying fish. So a fish that flies is supposed to be called flying fish. Mm -hmm. That's normal. So, um... When they swim in the water and, and when they put their tails in the water and lift their heads up and then glide, put their tails back in, it helps them to never... 
Ooh, I see. Um, then they fly on top of the water, mm -hmm. and then they go back to the water. No. And land. Oh, they just keep flying. They have to go back to the water. They're fish. That's where they live at. Well, they do live live in water, but they have to fly to another lake of water. Yes, but they go back to not the same water as you flow. As you flow from, they just go back to the water to another water, right? Mm -hmm. Okay.